It's a pony, a pony. Telani Badge's fan feels the need to drag Dorothy over Prince. Let me read to you exactly what the girl says. Listen. He said, call me if you wanna. I said, I know myself, I'm gonna wanna. Activate undercover. I let him know it's not the normal taste. Hey, the video self is busting my head. Well, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? What's been happening? My name is Omi or DK, and this is Talk to Your Homie TV, my darling here. I love to give very sweet and juicy gist, and today I have hot gist for you. Ah, from haters. Will I say haters? Let's scratch that. From Tolani Badge's fans, well, some of her fans, seeing the need to drag dirty over print. I'm like, wait, wait, did they, what, like, did they not watch the show? We'll talk about that. And then what, Tony? Haters be dragging Watoni. That particular one, I have to admit because I feel like it's unfair. They also have V. V has proven that she's worthy to be given the crown of Queen Petty. You feel me? We'll talk about that, my darling. And oh my gosh, guys, the next G stay, Rosie and Kachi. No, 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 no. That one. Ha. I just pray I have enough time because we need to get into the nitty gritty. Kachi finally granted an interview. <sighs> Man. Mm? Let's begin this just my darling. I want to start talking about V. Ah, guys. V has finally hit 1 million followers on Instagram. Yeah. V now thought it was wise to celebrate in the pettiest way. We had to remind them haters. You get me? She had to remind them from where she was coming from. V goes online to say this. Listen. My 1% got me to 1 million followers on Instagram. I am grateful. I mean, V just had to remind us that. Well, I mean, what I say remind us? You know, if you guys don't know, when she left the house, her and Neil had just 1% vote, like 1% each year, and Liko had like maybe 40 something percent. You get me? So people were dragging her, like, look at you, only 1%, 1%, 1%, yeah. So she's now trying to tell the world that even with her 1%, she had left the house and she's winning. 1 million Instagram followers, are y'all joking? Almost see somebody still went online to drag V with this particular talk. People don't want to forgive you. They said, no, 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 no. They will not forgive you. See what they said now. Listen. So after she said the whole 1% got her 1 million followers on Instagram, somebody goes online to say, don't switch things up. It's your friends who got you that following. People like Nengi and Leiko have huge fan base and you're close to them. So why wouldn't your fans also follow you? It's not your fans, but your friends. Hey, Jesus. Like, wait, chill. Let's just... You, you I, I forgive me now. It's okay. It's okay now. I'm see. We has the energy for the haters because we now goes to reply and say this. Friendships that benefits me, ninjas and icons, spices. I thank y'all. Oh, oh yeah, chop blocking there. Okay, <laughs> I think I don't know. I think I. I think V is handling it well. I hope with all these responses, I hope she's smiling and happy. Like when she's replying the messages, I hope she's replying it with happiness and laughter and like, ah, oh, look at you. I hope she's having fun with it. If not, if this thing is by any means affecting her mental health, she needs to leave it. She needs to leave the whole one. Forget about this one percent and just keep going. Leave the haze and just keep going. It, it will fade off they will get tired but as long as we keep replying they will keep replying her and i don't think like you're ready for like trolls have all the energy they have like a, a an army of your fellow trolls like you get me i just really hope that this energy v is given i hope personally she's actually having fun with it here because she looks like she's ready to attack them so we're here to give the gist you feel me next gist eh, watoni guys watoni actually said it and she did it big ups to that girl while she was in the house she actually said that she would like to write a book on parenting here and she left the house and she actually wrote the book and she now went to go and launch the book and almost all the housemates from Bibi Ninja lockdown came for that girl. Massive. Obviously, they really love her. I mean, check these videos now. Drip. Ooh. Drip. But now my issue now is 
I mean, see, everybody calm down. I went online and I was seeing comments. People were saying, eh, that what does she know? Her child is, I don't know if he's up to 10 years or more, but he's still like a talk, like he's still young. And so they feel like, what does she know? She just became a mother. Like what right does she have? Or what foundation does she have to be writing a book on parenting? Who and I'm just like, relax. First of all, yeah. The moment you become a mother, it's not bad to share your experiences. It's not bad. Me now here, yeah, when I get pregnant by God's grace here, yeah, I will probably like vlog about it, show you the process because you don't know. Let her share what she has learned. Let her grow a community. Let her do it. People that have four children, they, they, it's not in them to write books. So somebody writing a book and I try to snack on my diss her. Ah, me laugh, Joe. Who even knows? What if... I mean, because I haven't even read the book and I'm almost certain that everybody who is dissing her have not even touched the book to even see what is written. The book is titled 101 on Parenting. What if Watoni is collating advices she has gotten from different experienced mothers? You don't even know and you're hating on the book. Uh -uh, relax now, let's beat people up. Let's hype their success. Let's push them. Let's not just keep dragging people down. What does she know? Ah, uh -uh, calm down. Ah, uh, oh that's my own take on Watoni's own. Like, ah. Uh, even if a child is, even if a child is two years, let her write. There are other two-year-old moms that will relate to it. There are also young couples who have not given birth yet that we even want to say, okay, this is what it is like to have a two-year-old child. Like, leave her, let her do what she wants to do. Ah, why are we hating, man? I don't get it, man. But tell me your opinion, though, in the comment section, my darling. Next, gist is on Dorothy, Talani Badge, and Prince. Talani Badge's fan feels the need to drag Dorothy over Prince. Now, the person thinks that Dorothy snatched Prince from Tolani Bird. I'm like, wait, what? Let me read to you exactly what the girl said. Listen. At the Dorothy Bachelor, come and tell me which charm you used in holding Prince and, and where I'm boyfriend snatcher like you. Boyfriend snatcher. I thought Tolani Bird and Prince broke up like a long time ago, which is boyfriend snatcher. But I mean, do I know they broke up? But uh, anyways, let's continue reading. You broke your fellow woman's heart and took what belongs to her. How do you sleep at night knowing that he doesn't love you and that one day his eyes will clear? You will regret this. Ah, Omo, calm down. I mean, didn't you watch the show, Ni? Who is this girl? Should I call her name? I guess you see her name there. But didn't you watch the show? Prince and Dorothy, where they have been close from the house. Even before Prince like said to do that, like before he said to date Tony Bacha in the house, so Dorothy and Prince have been close, and they've been you see it's fans though because they've been saying it that they are no lovers or they are just friends or like chill. There was even one time um, Dorothy was online yeah, on Instagram on a story yeah, her fans were asking her questions and every time they brought up Prince, Dorothy was as explicit as possible. Listen to what she says. Someone says, hi Dorothy, are you and Prince 18? And Dorothy says, no darling, we are human beings. <laughs> God. Next, someone asks, what is Prince's name saved as? She says, brother Prince Nelson. Do you understand? Like, whoa, well, allow it man. And I mean, Dorothy didn't snatch Prince from, I mean, Prince is a grown up man. He can make a decision himself. You get me? Like, what's up, boy? If you're a Dorothy fan, I mean, never leave Dorothy fan. If you watch the show, do you think Dorothy snatched Prince from Talani Badge? Tell me your opinion in the comment section, and my darling. Do I have enough time to delve into um, Rosie and Kachi's gist? You know what? Because let me just tell you, Snippet, yeah? After Kachi did that interview, oh, guys, while the interview was going on, I was just saying to myself, like, should this be done? Is this fair? Kachi just came out on national in fact out everywhere to tell the world that rosie aborted baby like what and then somebody hits me up and started to tell me things the person says that he's like his family they are close to rosie's family and the person said to tell me things that i said wait 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 chill i have to come here and discuss it i'll first begin with what kachi said in the interview and i'll tell you what the person said about rosie because right now rosie's management team they've taken her phone social media because like she's too soft so she's really crying so they've taken her phone off off her hand here yeah? and the manager is managing her accounts do you understand so i you know what see I will end this video here because that see that Rosie and Kachi's video. I want to take my time to talk about it. If you want ultimate love, if you like love, if you want if you are confused, like ah, I want to support this Rosie and Kachi matter, yeah. The video will come out just after this one. Please, guys, watch the video here because bra bra bra. I'll be telling you everything the guy said, the person who came to me to contact me on the matter, yeah. Like from Rosie's angle, I'm telling you what he said, and you don't want to miss this one, yeah. So please, my darling, wait for that video and yeah. 
put your mouth in the matter yeah but all i would leave you with is don't judge based on Kachi's side of the story that's just one side of the story wait for rosie to tell her side of the story and i hope rosie i hope you tell your side of the story yeah i just hope so right that's all for today's video my darling i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it please just tell me in the comment section oh what's up now i liked your juice now you call a girl now so but you uh, activate if you wanna i'll let him know it's not the normal taste obviously not like this one it's okay omi to the next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching.